Hey guys, I'm going to teach you how I edit my Galaxy photos using Camera Raw 8.0, which is available in Adobe Photoshop CS6. If you've ever opened your image in a previous version of Photoshop, it's actually going to open with the old presets. As you can see, the only sliders that were really in the middle were the exposure and the brightness and contrast. To update to the latest presets, just click in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, the biggest difference is all the sliders start out in the middle now which is great instead of starting from a baseline all the way on the left and only being able to pull up um, you can now go up or down on any of these some of the changes um, contrast is now bumped up right under exposure what used to be called recovery is now called highlights what used to be called fill light is now called shadows and you now have an adjustment for pure whites and pure blacks so first thing I do when I edit one of my Milky Way photos is I crop out any distractions um, if you ever hit auto when trying to edit, you can tell that never gives you the correct result. But as you can see, I was actually on Kilauea photographing this, so it picked up some of the ambient glow from the volcano. So we're going to go ahead and crop that out, just to eliminate any distractions. This is actually a bigger part of a panorama, which I'm going to teach you guys about next. How to do a panorama of the Milky Way. So to apply your crop, you just hit enter. And let's go ahead and put this back to default so we can see where we're starting from. All right, now that we're gonna be making fine tune adjustments, let's go ahead and make camera raw full screen. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is take the exposure and bump it up. I usually bump it up about three quarters of a stop. So let's see how that goes with this. And that's a pretty good start. You can finally start seeing some detail in here. Um, next thing I want to do is pull up the highlights pretty much when you think about it when you're photographing the Milky Way or anything in space you're shooting for the highlights which are the stars that are out there as well as the clouds of dust and gas so let's go ahead and pull those way up now you're gonna start seeing it pop out a little bit more finally let's go ahead and pull the pure whites up this is really gonna bring out the detail in it alright that looks pretty good there as you can see it has started washing out your shadows a little bit so the next thing we want to do is pull those back down that's one of the things I really like about this new version of Photoshop is it really only adjusts what you're trying to adjust instead of it making a global adjustment to your shadows you know on the old ones it would actually affect your highlights and midtones as well on this new one it actually just affects your shadows so let's go ahead and pull in our blacks the rest of the way so that's way too much it's all about little adjustments in this stuff. All right, so that's a pretty good start. Let's see how it looked before, and that's after. Next thing I want to do is adjust the contrast. This will bring your whites a little whiter and make your darks a little darker. So that's really starting to pop out of there now. Uh, the problem is down here we are losing a little bit of detail so let's go ahead and pull our shadows back in a little bit more as well as our blacks all right now you have a nice line here at the bottom you can still see where the horizon would be let's go ahead and adjust our clarity this will basically sharpen your pixels make your image look a lot more clearer and it actually darkens some of the areas that you don't want to be dark anymore or, excuse me bright anymore all right that's a good start but as you can see it's definitely getting a little bit noisy so that's generally the last thing I do is just bring your noise level down I used to go to about 40 and that's pretty good there Let's see before very noisy after Really not any noise, especially zoomed out, full view.